Hi, I'm Leonard Phelps, and I'm a chemist here at the Janey Technical Center. Today, I'm here to talk to you about adhesion testing. There's many different types of adhesion tests, and today I'm gonna to be talking specifically about pull-off adhesion testing done with the Pat Handy Tester. This test device essentially consists of two components. The hydraulic testing head, which you use to be able to attach to a test fixture, and a dial gauge in order to be able to get a readout of what the load is that you're applying to the coating. Today we're specifically gonna talk about paint coatings as opposed to something like a galvanized coating. We wanna be able to have paint coatings that are strongly adhered to the substrate. If we don't have that, if we only have marginal to poor adhesion, then we're vulnerable to early deterioration of that coating and gradual failure. What we do is we take something simple like deionized water or some distilled water to be able to clean the surface that you're interested in testing. And then to use some sandpaper to be able to profile the surface. And then we're going to take an adhesive and apply it to the surface of our test stub. And then we'll press that onto the surface. Once we let that epoxy adhesive cure, then we can pull off this stub with our test device to see what amount of stress can be applied to that coating before breaking. We're going to attach our testing head to the test fixture and we're ready to go. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start applying a stress. And as we apply that stress, what will happen is um, it'll it'll be pulling up on this dolly until the point that it fails, just like that. We get two things out of this. And one is we're able to see this one came off at 800 PSI. We also get some information on the dolly because it tells us where was the weakest plane of failure. And we can see that about 80% of it came off between our green coating. And then the other 20% came off between a, a brown primer. So we collect not only what the stress is, but we also collect how it fails. So in this particular instance where we've been looking at some coated steel here, obviously this isn't a spring chicken and we've done this, uh, this has been around for a while. So our customer might be interested in repainting this. We just performed some adhesion tests we had some values that were all above 500 PSI. And so that would be indicative of good adhesion. And so we're worried less about the integrity of the coating, although we are worried about the areas that are rusted. But in terms of the adhesion, as far as the adhesion is concerned, this would indicate that the coating has good integrity and should be able to sustain the addition of another coating over the top of it, rather than complete removal of coating. Thanks for stopping by the Janey Technical Center.